Hello everyone. In this video, I am explaining edge detection techniques, which is the topic of digital image processing. So this is gray uh, image, and we know that in grayscale image, the pixel intensity va values varies from zero to two fifty five. In this, zero represent perfect black, and two fifty five represent perfect white. And all other values from 0 to 255 represents other gray shades. In binary image, 0 represents black and 1 represents white. What is an edge? The edge is the high contrast area between light and dark pixel. So let's take an image, whatever you are seeing. So if you see this hairline, here there is high contrast area between the background and foreground and you can say that this is an edge in the image. Similarly, edge is shown in this image also. This by red line. You can see here on the left hand side there are darker pixels and uh, on the right hand side there are lighter pixels. There are three types of edge detection techniques or you can say of uh, edges that are horizontal edges, vertical edges and diagonal edges. Now, before using edge detection techniques, there are prerequisites. What is the prerequisites? That we should pad the image with the zeros or you, we should use a wraparound condition. So what is padding with zeros? Suppose this is an image, then you should surround the entire image by zeros. What is meaning of wraparound? What we are doing is wraparound, whatever is this line we are replicating, uh, replicating same here. Whatever is at the bottom we are repli replicating on the top and these corners are replicated similarly. This stain is replicated here. Now why we are doing this padding with zero and wrap around? This is to save the information. What happens if we use this um, edge detection technique without doing this then we will lose the information available in the image. Now, in age detection technique, we convolve a filter or mask or a kernel with the image. So here we use the simple convolution procedure. The convolution we did in high pass filtering, we did in low pass filtering, we did it in age detection techniques also. What is convolution procedure? Convolution procedure is very, very simple. Suppose this is image here, padding or zero padding or wrap around is not shown. Suppose this is an image and this is a filter or mask. So we take three by three mask. We put it on this first position and then we multiply pixel with pixel. This pixel with this pixel, this pixel with this pixel and then we add everything. So this here the formula is shown. After adding, we will get one number. Then what we have to do, we have to replace this central pixel here 75 by the new value that we got after convolution. So we will get 235. After that, what we have to do, we have to shift this mask position into or shift this mask in the new position. That means you have to slide your kernel or mask towards right. And then calculate, again replace this central pixel with the new value. And then again shift, again convert, again replace central pixel by new value. So this is known as convolution, simple convolution procedure. You can see here, again in this zero padding and wrap around is not used. And hence you can see that the actual image size is 6 by 6. But after this convolution, we are getting only 4 by 4 image. That means we are missing the information from the image. So you can see we are shifting the mask at every position. At every position we are calculating, convolving and then we are replacing the value of central pixel with the new value. Now this is vertical edge detection. So for vertical edge detection this mask is used in which at the center there are 0, 0, 0. Now this is image in which there are only two values and hence zero is represented by gray and this 10 is represented by white. Okay, when we convolve this with this, 
what is filter? Filter at here it is zero, here it is minus one, which is represented by black and one is represented by white. And here after convolution, we will get something like this. So 30, here it is represented by white and zeros on both sides. So it is used to detect this age, which is between 10 and zero. The same procedure when same image, but now the values are flipped. On left hand side, there are zeros and on the right hand side, there are tens. So here the image looks like this and the other image looks like this. The filter is same. Filter used is same, but output is different and the output image will look like this. This is after evolution. So there are various masks, some are horizontal edge kernel, this is horizontal edge kernel, this is vertical edge kernel in which zeros are placed vertically at the center. This is emboss. This kernel is used for embossing filter kernel, mask, you call it anything. This is outline kernel, is used to detect the outline of the images here. The outlines are detected. So age detection operator, there are two types of age detection operators. There are two operations that is gradient based and Gaussian based. So here in this video, we are learning gradient based. In gradient based, again, there are three types that is Sobel operator, Privet operator and Robert operator. These are the operators. The basic procedure is convolution. Only masks are different. So we'll go one by one. First, Sobel operator. In Sobel operator, this is one mass that is in the vertical direction or vertical mass. This is another mass. This is known as GX. This is known as GY. Okay. At the output, for getting the output, we have to use this formula. G is equal to under root of GX square plus GY square. Now, it is not necessary that the value of this mass will always remain as it is. Yes, you can add more weight to the mass. That means you can change these values. If you want to enhance the quality of age detection, that can be done. But basic structure will remain same. Now let's see how to apply Sobel operator on the image for getting age detection. So here this is image. Okay. Now what is this? This is suppose a particular position. Let's say this is a particular position 3 by 3 is shown in this image. Now this is your GX, this is one mass, and this is vertical mass, and this is horizontal mass. So keep this vertical mass on this position, convolve, you will get one value, that is GX. Because after convolution, you get only one value because you multiply all the pixel and then you add all the pixel, then you will get one value, that is GX. Then you have this horizontal mass, you convolve this mass, with the same image portion, then you will get another value that is G1. So you are getting, for this particular position, you are getting one GX value and one GY value. And then use this formula, you will get final value. Then replace this central pixel with the new value. So you will get this output. Again, in this, Zero padding and wrap around is not used, and hence you can see that the size of output image is smaller than this input image because we are missing the uh, information that are at the boundaries of the image. So, this is Sobel operator used. So, whether you use Sobel operator, Privet operator, or Robert operator, the procedure is same. The procedure of calculation is same. Similarly, in the Privet operator, this is vertical mass, which is known as GX. This is horizontal mass, which is known as GY. Again, for calculation, the form final formula is same. The procedure is same. You will have one image. Select 3 by 3 position of the image. Apply this GX, convolve GX with this particular vertical direction mass with that particular position, first position convolve, you will get one value that is GX. Then again, use this, you will get another value that is GY. Then use this formula, you will get the final value and then replace the central pixel with the new value. So here comparison between two is shown that is Sobel and Previt. There is no much difference. There are very minor 
difference between Sobel and Privet. But these can be changed by adding weight to this uh, mask or curtains. Next is Robert as age detector. This is just a two by two uh, mask. Here, the zeros are there on diagonally in this direction. Here, zeros are there on the opposite direction. This is when we convert this mass, it will, it will give us gx. When we convert this mass, it will give us gy. Then again, you have to use same formula. Now, how to apply this? Here, suppose this is any image. Then keep this mask at 2 by 2 position. Now, here, there is no central pixel. So, replace this pixel with the new one. Then shift it towards right. Again, convert, replace that uh, left top pixel by new value and keep doing this. Similarly, apply GY and use this formula. You will get final image. Now, as we have seen Sobel, Privet and Robert mask for age detection, the similar masks are also available for line detection. There are lines in the images in different directions. There are vertical lines, horizontal lines, slanting lines, diagonal lines. And for calculating that lines, for extracting that lines from the image, there are various masks that are shown. Suppose this mask can be used for detecting horizontal lines. This mask is used for detecting diagonal lines that are in this direction. This mask is used to, to extract vertical lines and this mask is used to extract the lines which are in this direction. So same, only procedure is same, convolution, only mask will change and for a better result, if you want better result, you have to add value in the mask. Here the example is shown. This is an image. Here, simple, it is a blurring image. You can say low-pass filtering mask, which is applied on this image, and you can see the blurring effect on this. And this is so well, only one. Okay. So here, only horizontal is shown. So only horizontal, G, uh, horizontal mask is used, and hence, you can see only horizontal lines are extracted. This diagram is for grayscale image and this is output of color image that is the only difference thank you very much thanks for watching